In this video we share the second coming of our Lord according to Saint Faustina. We are accustomed to Saint Faustina Kowalska being shown the merciful Jesus, and his words are most of her diary entries. Meanwhile, it is forgotten that Faustina also spoke to Mary. What message did the Mother of God convey to the Polish nun? Reading the diary shows that these extraordinary meetings took place in the years 1925 to 1938. They first occurred at the beginning of her sister's religious journey, and the last time a few months before her death. Our Lady's apparitions were not as intense as the apparitions of the Lord Jesus. During the thirteen years of Saint Faustina has received the grace of the extraordinary vision of the Immaculate more than twenty times. Mary appeared during Holy Mass, usually with the child Jesus in her arms, but also outside of worship, when she came to the saint to give her certain orders or words of consolation. Outside the monastery walls, Our Lady appeared to Faustina only twice, at Yasna Gora in 1933 and at the Gates of Dawn in 1935. And although there are not many encounters mentioned by this Secretary of God's mercy, Mary's presence in her life was not sporadic. Faustina was aware of this, she is the only one who is always with me. She, as a good mother, looks at all my experiences and efforts, diary number 798. The saint never doubted that the mother of Christ had appeared to her. Faustina's diary left a description of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin, which corresponds to the Marian apparitions of Lourdes or Fatima, like all other visionaries, this Polish nun emphasized the extraordinary beauty of Mary. My daughter, by God's order, I must be your mother in an exclusive and special way, but I want you to be my child in a special way," said Saint Faustina at the age of 32, diary number 1414. From the diary we further learn that Our Lady first of all wanted the relationship of the Apostles of God's mercy with Jesus to be as close as possible. My daughters, strive for meekness and humility so that Jesus, who abides in your heart, may rest. Worship him in your heart, do not go out of your heart. I beseech you, my daughters, for the grace of this inner life, to fulfill all your duties with even greater precision without abandoning your inner self. Remain with him in your heart continually, he will be your strength, diary number 785. A strong connection with Jesus, regular meetings in prayer, in the sacraments of reconciliation and the Eucharist are the foundation of the spirituality not only of Saint Faustina, but also every believer. Our Lady, explaining that life with God in daily life is manifested in the fulfillment of His will, asked Faustina to follow the orders of her son as closely as possible. The sister wrote, I was left alone with the Holy Mother, who taught me about God's will, how to apply it in my life, submitting completely to His most holy judgments. It is impossible to please God without doing His holy will. My daughter, I warmly recommend that you faithfully fulfill all of God's desires, for this is dearest to His holy eyes. I really want you to excel in that, that is, in this fidelity to doing God's will. Put this will of God above all sacrifices and burnt offerings, Diary number 1244. The day of wrath is coming. Carrying out the will of God in complete obedience to Saint Faustina meant above all the dedicated fulfillment of the mission of the Secretary of God's mercy. The Lord Jesus appeared to the Polish nun to remind the world of his great love for every man, especially one who, overwhelmed by the burden of sin, has lost hope of reconciliation with God. The Saviour said in simple words that he loved him unconditionally, he created him, gave him life, and continually sanctifies him and gives him grace, and that he awaits him in the confessional. To open oneself in the spirit of trust in God's mercy was to be done through new forms of worship, the rosary of God's mercy, the image of the merciful Jesus, the Sunday of God's mercy and the hour of mercy. And although the implementation of these acts required time, courage and sacrifice, Saint Faustina was an ordinary nun who had apparitions and thus gained many opponents of the same, also the courage of others including the blessed father Mihao Sopako, her priest, as well as Saint John Paul II, who, having confirmed all things, brought forth the will of God to the end, Faustina was the first to faithfully fulfill her task. 
Mary knew that every man has a mission that God has assigned to carry out and that no one can replace him in its implementation. Therefore, in her vocation, she supported the apostle of God's mercy. She did not hide that the responsibility of the nun before God and the world is very great. Then I saw the mother of God, who said to me, Oh, how pleasing to God is the soul that follows the breath of his grace. I have given the world a savior, and you will speak to the world of his great mercy and prepare the world for his second coming, which will not come as a merciful savior, but as a righteous judge. Oh, that day is awful. The day of righteousness is set, the day of the wrath of God, the angels tremble before him. Speak to souls of this great mercy while it is time for mercy, if you are silent now, on that terrible day you will be responsible for a large number of souls. Do not be afraid of anything, be faithful to the end, I sympathize with you, Dairy No. 635, The Supernatural Graces of St. Faustina, including the revelations of Jesus or the Mother of God, spiritual communication with the dying, communion with souls in purgatory, teaching about the state of souls, was not intended only for her, but to save as many people as possible from eternal damnation. Therefore, the saint did not cease to be zealous both in proclaiming God's mercy and in showing love of neighbor. She offered her physical and spiritual suffering as compensation for the sins of the world and with the intention of asking for conversion for sinners. Also in this sacrifice of Saint Faustina was accompanied by the Mother of God. We read in the diary, during the night, the Mother of God visited me with the child Jesus in her arms. Joy filled my soul and I said, Mary, my mother, do you know how terribly I suffer? And Our Lady replied, I know how much you suffer, but do not be afraid, I sympathize with you and I will always sympathize with you. She smiled warmly and disappeared, diary number 25. Mary also came to her sister to ask her for fervent prayers, sometimes giving her the intention to say, my daughter, please pray, pray and pray once again for the world, especially for your homeland. Receive the redemptive communion for nine days, connect closely with the victim of the Holy Mass. During these nine days you will stand before God as a sacrifice, anywhere, anytime, and in any place, day or night, whenever you wake up, pray in the Spirit. One can always remain in prayer in the Spirit, Diary number 325. The final stamp in the child's devotion to the Mother of Christ was the shaping of personality through the development of virtues. During the apparition, Mary taught St. Faustina, which of these spiritual skills are the most important. I want you, beloved daughter, to practice the three virtues that are dearest to me and dearest to God, first, humility, humility and once again humility. Another virtue, chastity, the third virtue is the love of God. As my daughter, you must shine especially with these virtues, diary number 1415. It is important, however, that Mary was not only a model of living virtues and encouraging them to practice them, but she also prayed for a nun before the Father's throne. Sister Faustina admitted that the lack of impure temptations was a gift sought by the Holy Mother. She taught me to love God from within and to do His holy will in everything, she added, diary number 40. Saint Faustina did not waste the supernatural graces of Mary's apparitions, she faithfully obeyed the advice of the Mother of God and allowed herself and the Son of God to guide her. Thus, a simple nun from Lagi Uniki showed that following the example of Mary, putting herself in her mother's protection and living by her commandments is the easiest way to holiness, to unity with God, because, as St. Paul says, Faustina, the more I follow the Mother of God, the more I get to know God, diary number 843. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.